Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm here to do a general collective energy message. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself in the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magical spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, y'all. So let's just hop in and get this message. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? Mm. So the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess came out together. So I feel as though, you know, you're in your spiritual bag. <laughs> you're in your... You know, confident bag. You're putting in some, you know, a lot of work when it comes to spirituality. And I feel as though um, there's a ship coming in. And I feel like that you know what this ship is. Whatever, So whatever's coming towards you, I feel like that, you know, you actually could be getting some type of spiritual download, spiritual message about it. But there is some type of ship coming in for you. And... For some of you, you possibly don't know. But there is something coming in for you and towards you. Ace of Pentacles. So it could be uh, some type of financial blessing. Yeah. When I split the deck, Nine of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To help you to, you know, be more independent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Queen of Swords again. Well, when I split the deck again. And so I feel as though you could have saw something. Um, you could have gotten some spiritual downloads, like I said. You know, but basically, whatever you saw, it has something to do with the truth. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of Wands. So, you know, you could have saw or you could have got some type of spiritual message that there is a masculine energy, you know, that could be stuck in a situation. Either they're stuck, you know, in jail or prison or, you know, they're stuck in a situation that they could possibly be trying to get out of. Four of Cups in Reverse. I feel as though um, whoever this is, uh, they definitely um, don't want to miss some type of opportunity. And so this could actually be you, you know. So basically, you know, you're in your spiritual bag. You're doing what you need to be doing in your life. And, you know, there's something that, you know, it's, it's going to be revealed to you. And, you know, if you felt like that you were stuck in a situation... It's going to be revealed to you that whatever this is coming towards you, it's going to basically um, help you to basically break out of whatever this is that you feel like you're, you're stuck in. Um, with the Four of Cups in reverse, you don't want to miss this opportunity or someone else doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. And so that's why they could be, you know, trying to break out of a situation, possibly jail. Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You definitely don't want to miss this opportunity or someone doesn't uh, want to miss this opportunity um, because it is uh, dealing with finances, which it's with the Ten of Pentacles here. And so I feel as though um, someone is, you know, could have been stuck, but whatever this is, it's coming towards you. And I feel like it's you and you're this Queen of Wands energy. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or so you have it in your chart. There's something that is going to be revealed to you and it is about a ship. If you were feeling stuck. And when I say ship, I mean, you know, something coming towards you, something coming your way. If you were feeling stuck, this is going to help you to basically, you know, free yourself. You don't want to miss this opportunity because it does have something to do with money. Ten of Pentacles. But I'm also getting to that, you know, something is going to be revealed or it, has, or, or it already has been revealed to you about a masculine energy that, you know, could have been stuck 
in jail or just stuck in a situation. And so they're trying to, you know, break free from the situation and they don't want to miss an opportunity or they feel like that they could possibly miss this opportunity um, because of some money. So maybe they feel like they are going to miss an opportunity with you because they're basically financially attached, you know, to a situation. And so, yeah, Queen of Court. Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck again. So I feel as though, you know, you could have saw this, you know, and you could have communicated that you know the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five of Cups. So someone definitely does feel dumb, you know, because of whatever um whatever was revealed to you they do feel dumb but i but i'm also getting too that you know they feel as though yeah they regret they they're they're carrying regret and guilt because you know you could have told them you know something as well Yeah, and so they feel dumb because, you know, whatever was going on um, with them in their life, you continue to progress in yours. And, you know, I feel like your spiritual gifts definitely enhanced. And so um, with that being said, they feel stupid because you're continuing with your life. They are burdened down and stressed, Ten of Wands, because they're trying to get out of jail or get out of a situation. And it's because they don't want to miss an opportunity but they feel like that they could possibly miss this opportunity because they were attached to money pretty much mm -hmm. yeah and so, you know, when it comes to them trying to, you know, basically being stuck, they're trying to, you know, get out of something. So they're trying to end something. And for some of you, you know, it's them trying to get out of jail. For others of you, it's them being stuck in a situation or, you know, with a person. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they feel like, you know, even though that they, you know, are getting out of something and ending something, um, they feel like, you know, they don't want to miss an opportunity with you, but they feel like that they already have. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there is some type of opportunity that you don't want to miss, and it is going to, you know, boost your finances. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Wands, there is some, some communication coming in, you know, about that. Yeah, they feel stupid because they were fulfilling their wishes or they thought that they were fulfilling their wishes with another feminine energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three of pentacles. So yeah, they definitely feel dumb because they basically, you know, chose to enter into a contract instead of, you know, basically coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Four of pentacles at the bottom. And so they, yeah, they definitely were holding on to a situation just for stability. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So they want to come, you know, they want to come floating in. They feel like right is worth the cost. So I feel as though um, they could possibly be wanting to rush in, you know, to try to do the right thing for some of you. But for some of you, you know, there's going to be some information that you're going to receive quickly, you know, about some obstacles and challenges, whether it be your life or your person's life. Or I feel like once, you know, this ship comes in for you, um, when it comes to obstacles and challenges in your life, I feel as though, you know, they're going to basically go away quickly. But I do feel as though there is someone that could be, you know, causing obstacles and challenges when it comes to whoever this masculine energy is and they definitely are gossiping you know negative negative talk about this masculine and i feel like it's uh to keep this masculine stuck in jail so for some of you there's it there is a masculine that is locked up and there is uh outside energy that is doing things to keep this masculine stuck uh in jail and simply because you know they want to um end something and possibly you know change change their toxic ways Yeah, because whoever you are, you know, you definitely, you know, have been through a lot in your life and you, you know, you carry your wounds gracefully. And I feel like there is something good coming your way. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles on top of the Seven of Wands and death. And so, yeah, there is someone that could be married or, you know, they're just trying to come out of being stuck in a situation and basically end it because they were attached to a situation for finances with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, and they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. And so they know that they have to make a decision. But I'm also getting to that, you know, whatever this is that you could have possibly been stuck in trying to get out of trying to end. I feel like it is going to end and you are going with the King of Pentacles here. You're definitely going to receive some type of financial blessing. You don't want to miss this opportunity because it's going to definitely boost your finances. And so, you know, you need to make a decision. And so when it comes to this Ten of Pentacles, there is some communication coming. Ace of Swords, the truth. Mm -hmm. I can't make it up. The Hermit. Yeah. It's going to be revealed. Uh, Spirit, clarify the five. We'll put one on five of cups and three of pentacles, please. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Wrong path. So, yeah, they definitely do feel dumb. You know, they feel stupid. You know, for entering in into whatever contract this Three of Pentacles is, because they know that they went down the wrong path. Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, third party interference. And so, you know, they chose to be in a contract with a third party, and they know that they chose the wrong path because, you know, you're the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess energy. And so when it comes to this third party, evidently, you know, they have been dealing with this third party for a long time, which in turn caused a lot of hurt and pain and heartbreak for you. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords. 
Yeah, because they're burdened down to their socks. You know, they want to come rushing in to, and they have a lot to say because they do want to speak some truth. And so part of that truth is they want to basically reveal to you that they know they went down the wrong path when they were dealing with this third party. <laughs> and, you know, they could possibly be, you know, trying to get unstuck, you know, to end, you know, a marriage or just end, you know, a financial attachment. Seven of Wands, Death, and King of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, intimidated by your strength. It fell on the floor, so I'm going to put it back. Um, but whoever this person is, they definitely could be, you know, intimidated by your strength. Because, again... Regardless of what had took place, you still remained in the Queen of Wands High Priestess energy, even though, um, you know, you were, even though, you know, you basically were, you know, wounded and hurt over and over, you know, by whoever this is. Seven of Wands, Death, and King of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Time is up. So, yeah, they they definitely want to speak some truth about this third party, how they, you know, went down the wrong path and they want to communicate with you that, you know, this third party's time is up. They're, they're you know, basically trying to get out of the situation. They're trying to end it. They're trying to possibly, you know, get a divorce or they're trying to just unattach themselves from, you know, this financial attachment. Four of Cups in the reverse and Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they feel like they've already missed an opportunity um, when it comes to you because they did decide to juggle you. And so you could have possibly made the decision to, you know, walk away from this person. But, you know, they know that they showed you fake love. And so that's why they feel like that they could possibly, you know, miss out on this opportunity because they did juggle you and they did, you know, show you fake love. And, and, and they know that you're unbothered about it. So with that being said... Um, this person definitely is crying over spilled milk, but at the same time, they possibly are not used to your unbothered energy. And so your your actions are speaking very, very, very loud because you're not saying anything to this person. And so with that being said, because they never saw you not care, you know, about them or, you know, their life. Yeah, it's messing with their head. It's It's messing them up, period. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, The Hermit. Yeah, they do want to take action. Fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, so, you know, that could be the person's element, fire. Transformation, spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. So whoever this is, they definitely could be, you know, spiritually awakening. Um, definitely could be going through a transformation or you are. You could be going through a spiritual awakening again. Um, but I feel as though it's some information that you could have, you know, revealed to this person about, you know, their spiritual journey. And so with that being said, they're taking the information and they are spiritually awakening. And they're realizing that, you know, they messed up pretty much and they do want to communicate. Thank you, Spirit. Wrong path. Yeah, came out again. Fire sign. So, yeah. You know, they're either fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or they just took went down the wrong path and, you know, took a lot of action towards this third party. Third party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this third party, definitely, you know, toxic energy. Speak some truth. Mm-hmm. So there is a legal issue going on. And so they want to speak about speak some truth about it. And so, you know, there is some obstacles and challenges being created, you know, in this legal issue. And so whoever this third party is, um, you know, they're basically lying and gossiping, you know, spreading fake news about whoever this person is. And yeah, they are married. 
they are married. So whoever this is, yeah, when it comes to this marriage, they feel like the time is up. They're ready to be done with it. But this this toxic energy is basically creating obstacles and challenges, you know, to basically keep this person from basically ending this marriage. New beginning is in the reverse. And so, yeah, whoever this toxic energy is, they are trying to stop this person from divorcing them and, you know, having a new beginning. But this third party, this toxic energy, their time is up. Fake love. Yeah. Uh, there is an investigation going on. And, you know, with that being said, this person doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. They did, you know, juggle and they did show you fake love. But they're finding out that, um, or you're going to find out, for some of you, they're going to find out that this third party basically did some things in this legal issue when this person was trying to get married. I mean, trying to get a divorce. This uh, toxic energy was doing other things behind the scenes in this legal issue. Um, and so basically with the Knight of Swords, they were lying on this person. They were gossiping about this person. And so it created some type of investigation. And so they realized that they juggled the wrong, they, they juggled you and this person was uh, showing them fake love. But I'm also getting to that for some of you, um, this person, you know, that's trying to basically get out of this situation, um, their time could be up too because they're married. And so they're under investigation for something. And so they're going to miss an opportunity with you because they did juggle you. And so they could have, you know, talked negatively on your name as well with this fake love card here. Or, you know, you could be somehow involved in this investigation. That's not for all of you. That's just for some of you. But I feel like that your name is going to be cleared. And, and when I said earlier that you're going to receive some type of financial blessing, it is because, you know, of this situation. Transformation, spiritual awakening. Mm hmm. Yeah. Thief. Yeah. And so someone definitely could have tried to steal your money. And so you're going to be, you're going to get some communication about it. Whatever the, whatever was hidden, it's, you know, it's coming to the light. And things are going to change. And I feel as though if this masculine or whoever this person is was involved, yeah, everything is going to change in their life and they're going to have no choice but to spiritual awaken. Yeah, because someone was planning and potting on you. That is for sure. My hand is itching right now and it is the left hand. Is that the left hand when you get supposed to get money? So my hand is itching for somebody. Okay. Uh, fire sign. Mm-hmm. So either this fire sign is protected or you're protected from this fire sign. But I feel like that you're being protected from this person, to be honest, for some of you. Toxic energy. So yeah, the toxic energy, the third party, definitely could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And so that could be who is um, under investigation. So either this earth sign third party try to steal from you or try to steal from you know the other person or both legal issue mm -hmm. yeah paperwork documents and evidence so within this legal issue you know someone could have whoever this third party is definitely could have been negatively talking about you as well to make this, uh, whoever this person is, miss an opportunity with you. And so they could have lied on you as well. And so there is some evidence, some paperwork and documents that is going to be presented to you. But someone is under investigation because they did juggle you and, you know, they showed you fake love. And so it could be this person. Marriage, time is up. Yeah, major regret. So, you know, this person does make, uh, regret the fact that they married this person. but And they regret whatever they did because now their time is up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They regret the fact that they were in a karmic contract for money. And so, you know, with the time is up and investigation here. Um, the time is up. The investigation possibly is over and they found out 
everything that they need to find out in this legal issue. The thing is, it's going to be revealed to you. Something is going to be revealed to you about this person, you know, that did whatever they did to you. And you're going to, yeah, you're going to get some communication about it. And with that being said, again, I feel as though you're going to get some type of financial blessing. Investigation. Take love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Because of this investigation, this person definitely does want to reach out to you. And they want to basically let you know that they could have possibly changed. You know? Fake love. Yeah. They know that they, they know they juggled you, you know, they know they know that they showed you fake love and you are a feminine energy. But it, it could be because, you know, of a feminine energy that they showed you fake love. Thief. Mm hmm So things are backfiring and the tables are turning on whoever this thief is because it because some information you know, has been revealed or it's going to be revealed. Transformation, spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, you know, someone definitely is going to regret whatever they did because, you know, you're going, you could be going through a transformation. And so, because the back, everything is backfiring on someone, you know, they could possibly be going through, you know, a spiritual awakening. And it's because, you know, they feel like that they're on their last leg. Backfire tables turn, regret and guilt. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, so this person definitely is going through bad mental health, whoever this is. 444 protection. Ooh, we financial spiritual blessings so definitely are your financial and spiritual blessings are definitely protected and yeah you're getting ready to receive um mm-hmm yeah whoever this toxic energy is is third party they definitely try to cause you know you more wounds more hurt to the point to where you won't give this person an opportunity in my opinion, I don't feel like you should give this person an opportunity, another opportunity. This earth sign is involved, you know, their time is up, but they're involved in this uh, investigation. And, you know, it, it, they're basically, you know, doing very, very low vibing things that are basically going to get them, you know, in a position that they can't get out of. And it's simply because their time is up. Whoever this person is, they don't want to be in a karmic contract for money with this person anymore. And I say don't go towards this person or don't give this person another chance because it doesn't seem like that they even try to protect you from, um, you know, what's going on, what you had nothing to do with. And so whoever's under investigation, this earth sign, third party, toxic energy, possibly the person that wants to, you know, have uh, another opportunity. They're definitely suffer suffering in silence because they know their time is up when it comes to them being married, this karmic contract for money, this investigation, um, you know, the change is getting ready to take place. They're suffering in silence because they're, they're going through karma and they're under judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Planning and plotting on you. So yeah, everything is getting ready to change because these people or this person was planning and plotting on you. So, for, like I said, for some of you, this person was planning and plotting on you with the toxic energy. And that's why they were showing you fake love. That's why they were juggling you because they were basically playing with your emotions. Wow. Wow. Yep, planning on plotting on you. And you're definitely getting ready to receive some money from a court situation. We do have a legal issue out here. We do have an investigation out here. We do have paper, paperwork, documents, and evidence out here. Mm -hmm. Person from the past. So this could be the person, you know, that's trying to come towards you. Or it could be this toxic third party. But they definitely are a control freak. That was planning and plotting on you.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're going through karma and they're going and they're under judgment. They're planning and plotting on you. Yep. And the false allegations, false charges did not stick. It's in the reverse. So yeah, they were definitely lying. <laughs> but you're protected. Yep. But you're gonna receive some truth and clarity. Could be from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or they have it in their chart. Yeah. Because someone is seeing through the fog now. So for some of you, it is this person. But they're seeing that they were stuck in their old ways. And they know that they should have listened uh, more and talked less. Now they have to face the truth. So, yeah. That this person is walking away. So for some of you, it's just this third party, this toxic energy on their own, basically trying to blackmail and set you and this person up for, but for a slight teeny few of you, um, the person that, you know, feels like they're going to miss an opportunity with you, they were involved somehow. So they could have been being two-faced to you for this third party, you know, so they could have been, you know, talking negatively about you, you know, to this third party. And so... The third party was like, well, since you don't love her, since you don't like her, let's set her up, you know. And so basically in order for them to stay, you know, in this karmic contract for money, they basically had to continue to be stuck in their old ways. You know, now they realize that they should have listened more and talked less because they going through karma and judgment because they decided to plan and plot on you. And so things are definitely about to change. When it comes to this investigation. So yeah y'all. That was just a little message. I wanted to get out. Into the air. So I hope that it resonated. If it did. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.